guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a kind of different type of video. I thought I would switch it up and do a cook with me video today. And I'm definitely switching up this video because in this video, it's actually gonna be sponsored by Dossier. Dossier is a perfume company that contacted me to try some of their perfumes out. I thought to make it a little more um, interactive, I would switch it up and do like a um, all day challenge with these perfumes because I wanted to see if they actually stay on for um, you know, the majority of the day when you're out, you know, going grocery shopping, walking around outside, your perfume starts to wear off and you really know that you have a super good perfume if you come back home after all of that um, daily mess that you have going on each and every day and your perfume still is smelling good and it's still on. Okay, so quickly I just wanted to tell you guys actually from the Dossier um, company I was sent two fragrances. The first fragrance that I was sent was the Fresh Woody one and their packaging is so cute. They have where your actual um, perfume comes in a sample size and then a regular size bottle and the thing about this company is they make fragrances that are inspired by luxury brands that you know well and that if you're into the perfume um, industry if you love perfumes most likely you try it out. only thing is, is with those luxury perfumes you are going to spend a pretty penny to get those and the thing about this company is they kind of reproduce the classic high-end perfumes but at the same time they do it at the fraction of a price so it's kind of like an alternative to what you already know it's a nice size bottle it does come in a 50 millimeter bottle which i think is good and i also love like i said that you can try out the sample so if you don't like the fragrance you can pretty much say you don't like it and you can send it back and you don't even have to touch the huge bottle of perfume they do have a um 100 risk free uh, purchase. They're also doing something very special for Valentine's Day. If you want to head over to the website, just drop down in the description box where the links will be linked down there so that you guys can actually take advantage of the offer for the Valentine's Day campaign. So I do want to mention that the Fresh Woody one is actually inspired by Chanel and I love that they put the notes on these cards. So the top notes are lemon and mandarin and then the middle notes are going to be cedarwood and then they also have the base notes which is amber, sandalwood, and vanilla. So I will say that this one was not um, as girly as I would like it to be. So I'm gonna give this to my boyfriend um, for Valentine's Day. So I really love that I actually got one that I could be like, it smells more like a must smell like for a guy. So this is something that he would wear because I also got the Fresh Woody 3 which is inspired by Versace and this one I absolutely love and, and the top notes are going to be basil, basil, lavender, the middle note is black pepper, leather, walnut and the base notes are amber, cedarwood and musk. Before I actually use the bigger bottle I'm going to use my sample size all up. Is This whole entire packaging and everything comes to you for $29. So I think that's really really good. So let's go ahead and spray because I'm about to go out. I'm probably spraying this wrong. I always spray like my neck and then these two. The fact that this is vegan and cruelty free as well makes me happy. Okay, so now that I have my fragrance on, I'm going to go out, shop around like I plan to do today, and then I'm gonna come back. Let's go ahead and let's, yeah, let's go. Let's go shopping. Okay guys, so I just got to Whole Foods. I have my shopping list here because I'm kind of trying to not spend a lot in Whole Foods because I always spend a lot in Whole Foods. I just got out of Whole Foods. The groceries are in the trunk 
and now I just need to do a few more errands I need to go to the post office so that's what I'm about to do right now I don't think I'm gonna take you guys with me because filming um, <laughs> in public is so awkward like I just can't I feel so much so much pressure okay guys so I am back from the store and of course I told you guys I went to Whole Foods and I don't know if you guys care, but just in case you're wondering, I spent $46.96 on the groceries that we're gonna have for the week. Um, I have a daughter, so it's just two of us in, in my hi. house. Noraya says hi. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to cook. Um, and I'm using this pan right here. In case you guys are wondering, I'm going to be making a tomato basil soup. It is so good, me and my daughter love it so much. Okay, so we have our cast iron skillet here, and all I'm gonna do is go ahead and take some um, grapeseed oil. And all I do is pour the um, grapeseed oil at the bottom of the pan, or skillet, and I get it coated. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my actual ingredients in there. You can definitely adjust this recipe it's up to you so the best thing to have is um, fresh tomatoes but as you guys see I am using canned tomatoes and like I said the best thing is to have fresh tomatoes but tomatoes are not in season right now and I did try to get tomatoes today heirloom and the lady told me that they were not in season and she said don't even waste my money because they're not gonna taste as good as they normally do so I'm so glad for that lady because I put those straight back and I got the canned tomatoes. So. I don't just dump the entire thing of canned tomatoes into my um, skillet because I don't want like the extra juice that comes in here, like the paste to be in there. So I just take them out with a fork. I have my tomatoes in the pan and there we go, you can see all the tomatoes. Now, here comes the other ingredients. So now we're going to take some onions. I have some onions cut up in a bag. And we're gonna put that on there as well. Then, the next thing is you should have like some fresh garlic. But I forgot to get some at the store, so today we are going to use um, garlic that is <laughs> just, you know, here comes the part where someone may be like, why is she putting that in there? But I like to actually take my fresh basil, and I'm using Thai basil because there is a difference. I like the Thai basil better. It has a better flavor to me. Um, so I am going to take this, and I'm actually going to put this in the pan. And like I said, some people might think that that's not the way to do it. But what I do is I put some in the pan and allow that to like marinate with all the other flavors. And then when it's time to blend it all up, I put some fresh basil into the blender. So the last thing that is going to go into this skillet is some fresh thyme. So now that I'm done with everything, I'm going to go ahead and put this into the oven and I'm going to allow it to be into the oven at 445 and I'm going to leave it in there until it starts to like really look done. I don't really have a time, but I would say around 25 minutes. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you how I make kale salad. So I'm gonna take my kale here as you see, and I'm going to just take it right off the stem that way. And I roughly just pull mines apart like some people like to cut it up and stuff I just think that takes way too long so we're gonna do it this way see it comes right off when you do it that way once the kale salad is in the bowl and it's all you know sliced up I'm gonna take some I'm gonna take some lime I'm gonna take some lime, and you can use a lemon as well if you don't have lime. And you're just going to put that on top. You don't want to just eat it this way. You can't eat it this way, 
but it just doesn't taste as good. So what you can do is you actually massage the kale to make it a lot softer. So that's what I'm gonna do. So next thing I'm gonna do is add some onions. You can fix your salad the way you want, but this is just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add onions. I'm gonna add some dried cranberries too. And the next thing I'm gonna add is some walnuts. And these are the walnuts that's already cut up before you. I have this vegan Caesar salad uh, dressing and I'm going to use this, but I'm going to put extra into this dressing because I wanted to kind of make it my own dressing. I just didn't feel like doing the whole shebang. So pour the vegan dressing into the bowl. Maple syrup. Last thing I'm gonna add is some apple cider vinegar and I'm not gonna put a lot. And I'm also going to put some oil on the salad. The salad is all done and while this is marinating, I'm going to check on the tomato soup in the oven. At this point guys you would just add whatever you like to your tomato soup i like to add vegetable broth a little bit of sugar to balance out the acidity and then i just added in some herbs and some salt and pepper so i thought i'd pop in and let you guys know an update while i wait on my um, garlic bread to get finished because i'm making that as well and do a smell test <laughs> we're gonna do a smell test to see if the smell is still there it sounds so weird but I do still smell the perfume. I still smell it, um, but it is very faint. Honestly, with the perfumes that I normally use, I wouldn't even smell like a faint smell. I would just be like completely, <laughs> it would be completely gone. So that's good. It still has a really good smell to it. Um, I'm pretty sure if I was to, you know, go out or anything, I would still be able to, you know, smell good. So I wanted to try that out to see how it would work. And I still, I still have my scent, but if you like a more deeper smell, then they have that on their website as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and plate the food. So now I'm done with everything. I'm done cooking and I'm about to sit down and eat my food. And I made this drink, but I didn't record it. I was gonna record it, but I did not. This is a drink that I made. It's seltzer water with lemon or lime. I keep saying lemon, lime in it. And it's just delicious. It tastes like Sprite a little bit. And I just love it. So if you are trying to stop drinking soda, I highly recommend you do something like this. But thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Let me know if you liked it. I'm not sure if you guys like like cooking videos. So let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.